Hey YouTube, are you not sure you're ready to take those first steps into your own home-based business? Well, let me share some perks that you get when you work for yourself. Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time here, my name is Will. And I'm a 65 year old man that is trying to learn Fusion 360 to make his own STL files that he can sell on Amazon to create a revenue stream for my retirement. Man, that's a lot to get out. I ran my own business, well, two businesses over 25 years. Um, the first business was a electronic repair business, which I ran as a sole proprietorship. And then the last 10 to 12 years, I guess it was uh, the hydrographics business, which was a S Corp. And the differences between the two is the sole proprietor was just me. And I used my own social security number as my doing a business as uh, identity and then uh, the S Corp was really necessary because I had partners I had people that came in and gave me money up front for my idea and then they financed me uh, into business uh, they bought the equipment they gave me lines of credit they uh, did whatever it took to, to get the business started and then I ran that for almost 12 years and then we sold the businesses and uh, split the profit on that business so uh, that's my background roughly and just to let you know I I don't have enough background for you to take any of my advice seriously so if I say anything about taxes or um, you know how to run your business or how to do anything really um, I'm not an expert at that so you should not take my guidance as that it's just that I'm showing you my workflow I'm showing you my process to get to that point and that's where I'm at and YouTube is just one of the things that my wife and I had discussed to get to a point where we get a revenue stream coming in uh, other than working 40 hours a week so basically that's that story and there are perks to working for yourself that was the one reason why I did it for 30 years I couldn't work for anybody and then even now I work for somebody now and within a year I'm already I'm already on YouTube with close to a thousand subscribers so if there's any evidence at all that somebody can do it you're looking at it and uh, just to let you know, thank you so much for your, your support in the channel. I, that just amazes my wife and me every day. We wake up, and here we are. So, anyway, the perks. Uh, I'll get to those in just a few seconds. Uh, I'm on vacation this next week. Uh, oh, so is my wife. We're both on vacation. So, we plan to, to really get, tie up all the loose ends that we have in all the videos that I've been making. I've been rushing to get the videos out uh, to keep up with it. It's been hard as far as doing the Fusion um, 360 and doing uh, the parts for that and finishing up with the Amazon stuff. Uh, what else? I got a list of stuff. Um, I've got the, I've started my new part, which is a drill holder slash nail gun holder. And I've got a few added accessories to either one of those that have um, uh, magnets and stuff like that. Um, the loose ends up on Amazon. Uh, nylon carbon fiber. Uh, I'm going to set up again the printer out in the shop. And I'm going to print off the rest of Jen's um, dryer vent. I know that's exciting, right? Uh, but the exciting part is it's going to be in carbon fiber nylon and I'm sure I'm going to screw that up so but I am going to watch some YouTube try to figure it out before I come up here and really make a fool of myself um yeah that's all of that um anyway what else I got uh the perks I think it's pretty much it oh no I got one more copyright laws all right copyright laws 
everybody has a different thing that they're selling. Some people are selling dragons, some people are selling this, and, but they're buying these STL files from somebody, and do they have their copyright laws? Do you know, I mean, copyright uh, certificates, do you know they have it? And I just can't trust other people's stuff, okay? I'm going to do my own stuff. And then that way, if there is a question, then I'll take care of it at that time. But as long as I change it by 25%, and that's the way I read it, well, actually 20%, but if I change it by 25% and make it better, uh, I should be able to use that file. I should be able to copyright that file. And until somebody says no otherwise as to what path I'm going to take, I don't have time to sit and be a lawyer uh, or even get one for that matter to find out if I can sell my file or not. Uh, there are literally, literally millions of people doing it and I'm not going to stop until somebody tells me to stop. And that's not right to say. Um, I can tell you in business, people try to take you to court because that's the way they make money. It's just the way some people are. And I've been sued before. They didn't win, but I've been sued before. All right, so the perks. I'm going to take these off. So the perks, right? The perks. Perks of you owning your own business. Well, number one, especially if it's in your home, the drive to work is awesome. You cruise in in your pajamas into the kitchen. You pick you up some coffee at the uh, local coffee maker. Uh, you head on over to the stove and grab yourself something to eat there. It's usually pretty cheap. It's a lot cheaper than going through the drive through over at Starbucks. That's for sure. I went and got a sandwich and a coffee one time, and it was 26 bucks. I was like, what? That was my whole day allowance to eat. So, anyway. And I'm ripping off people trying to make 20 bucks off of a part. Uh, another perk. Um... I got to ride my motorcycle into uh, my shop. <laughs> um, we'll have a garage, uh, or I had a garage, and um, I was able just to come in the back and just ride my motorcycle right into the back of the shop. Uh, and it was always awesome because that's where I worked at in that shop. So I was walking around my motorcycle. Um, that's how I fell in love with motorcycles, by the way. And I do like them. I've got three of them. And I can only ride one at a time. That's that's what Jenny keeps telling me. <laughs> uh, she's a hoot. Uh, but she allows me to have three of them. That's love. I don't know what else to say about that. Uh, another perk. Um, I'm kind of coming off the hip now because I don't know. I, I thought I wrote them down, but when you get old, you just don't know where you're putting your stuff anymore. Uh, perks. Oh, <laughs> the best perk of all. All your tools are free. Ish. What I mean is, um, say for instance, you're got to pay $17,000 in taxes. Okay. So you made 60, 70, 80,000 dollars. Your taxes that you're going to pay, it's going to be 17,000. Okay. Well, that's pretty big. So that's a lot. Let's just, let's just round it off down to ten. You had to pay ten thousand dollars in taxes this year. Holy crap! Well, the way I'm working it is, I'm going through Amazon, and you can go through Shopify or Etsy or any of those platforms. Uh, I think except for eBay, um, they take the tax out. They take your sales tax out. They take your federal tax out. They don't want to send you money and you not pay your taxes, and then them get sued or they lose credibility to her having people like that. So you're paying the taxes already. So on that 20 bucks, I've already paid my federal tax and my state tax for North Carolina. Uh, at the end of the year, I paid in X amount of dollars, $10,000. Um, but I bought a new printer. That printer was say a thousand dollars. And I've also bought this much filament. I bought uh, extruders. I bought, white grease I bought all that stuff you bought is a write-off you just tell the government show them the proof of it 
And well, actually, you show your your accountant, and half the time you don't even have to do that. I got to a point where I just took in a sheet of paper that had my profit and loss on it, and my taxes were done. <laughs> uh, hundred and eighty dollars uh, for for two minutes work, but that was. That's why I liked having somebody do my taxes and I didn't pay a lot of tax, but mainly because I'd buy stuff. I'd, I'd see in, in, uh, October that I needed something. I would wait till December to buy it, a new welder. You don't even need a welder in hydrographics. I mean, unless you're welding parts just to hold something, but I'd buy a welder. Oh, I'd buy something. I'd buy something that was costly. So that money would come back to me. Uh, so I present that to my tax guy and lo and behold, I didn't have to pay that much tax. And I, and in this case, it being already paid through Amazon, I should get that money back. Um, I haven't talked to my tax guy yet. I hadn't really talked. Well, he's already off for the season. He won't be back till January. So I have a little surprise when he gets there, huh? Um, that's about it. I'm on vacation next week. Um, we are printing some stuff. Lord God, we're going to print a bunch of stuff. But I don't know what I'm printing next, but I hope you're printing it with me because I needed to get this video out. <laughs> I've been so busy. I can't wait for vacation. Um, thank you so much, YouTube. You guys are so supportive. If you made it to the end, uh, I usually kind of wait for the end to tell you to give me a like and a subscription, uh, but I get them anyway. Thank you so much. I'll see you now. I'll see you on Saturday. Yeah, Saturday. Thanks.